let me start with I, I miss I miss the mid '90s when you could go out with a script and you know and and then the studio would call you and say what do you want for the script and you'd say well, well what do you think I want I want a million dollars you know and you'd get it right the standard um, answer right one million dollars yeah exactly I know those were fun days those days unfortunately are over that's the bad news but I think for me the good news is that. Back then, if you made a low-budget movie and you wanted it to be any good, you needed at least five million dollars. Mm -hmm. And now you need five hundred thousand. I mean, you could go out and shoot a great movie on your iPhone right now if you had, you know, a great script and and actors who really knew how to act and really took the time to do it. You could go out and shoot a movie on your iPhone and it would be fantastic. So you know, I mean. Things change, and you have to change with them. And I think, I think the my my friends who also do what I do in their own little companies. Um, we actually have a little group that meets for lunch often, and we sit and we complain about stuff and trade information. And um, uh, we've all had to make adjustments because the business has changed. I mean, if you're trying to do business like it was in the '90s, you're going to be in big trouble because that it's you'd be selling pagers in an iPhone world, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think the, that we've all had to get more creative about what we're doing and expand into different markets and um, and maybe tighten our expense accounts a little bit. I mean, nobody does lunch anymore, um, which is actually great for me because I have a house in Northern California and I like to be up here and I don't want to be sitting in traffic in L.A. more than I have to, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. I've been accused of being an optimist uh, and I'm okay with that. But I see that you know where there were many, many, many independent companies back in the day. Although it did take five million plus to make that film, there are just as many opportunities today at far lower price points. But we do have the same amount of opportunity. It just looks different, and it does not involve people writing checks for a million dollars every time you wave a script in the air. Um, that's well, right. Yeah, and, and by the way, you also had the frustration with that. One of my million-dollar sales, the movie never got made. They wrote us a check for a million dollars, and it's out there, sitting there now. Probably yeah. probably they don't even know they own it. No doubt. I put, I put one or two of those of my own. Um, but those were the days. They were, you know, the, they were big spending days. Uh, it was before the studios became you know, a little bit um, more frugal, if you will. Um, and our developing their development production ratio is very changed from what it was. 